All right, boyfriend troubles. Hey, Bill, I was wondering if you could help with issues I'm having with my boyfriend. Uh, he's really sweet, but sometimes too sweet. Oh, Jesus. He's too submissive, and I wish he could be more dominant. All right, okay, he's fucking... He would give up his seat, is that what you're saying? I don't know how to bring it up to him without hurting his feelings. I really want to do BDSM, bondage sadomasochist. Wait, the screen just went out. Rape role play. But every time we try it, it never works. <laughs> how, how can I tough, toughen him up? Oh, my God. That's a fucking sketch right there. He's too sweet. He's a sweet, nice guy. And you want to do that with a sweet, nice guy? Hey, don't move or I'll, uh, I'll bop you on your head. <laughs> Honey, you got to speak a little more firmer than that. I will bop you on the head. Stop saying bop. You're drying me up. Um, how can I tough him up? You know what? You can't. You can't. Uh, what you're looking to do, uh, you can't do with, with a person like that. You just got to understand that he's a square peg trying to fit into a round hole. No fucking pun intended. And um, I don't know. I, I You know, it's like... That whole sex thing, you got to like, you guys, you, you got to vibe with each other. If the vibe isn't there, especially with something like that, I mean, that's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be the most awkward thing ever. <laughs> do you do the whole act out? Do you tell him to go outside and try to like, you know, he probably knocked on the door. Hello, here to rape you. <laughs> if that's okay. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're with, I would say you're with the wrong guy. That's all. Um, so you gotta, you know, I don't know. I, I don't, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I, I really need Nia here. You know, that's just like a whole, I, I don't know that you can do that. Is there any woman out there? Have you been able to... Because I got to tell you from the other side, when I, when, uh, back in the day when I was a single man, you know, glory days, they'll pass you by, glory days. In the wing of young girls. Um, what I would do, well, I guess you've already done this, so it's not working on it. What I would always do when you were trying to like, Get a woman to not be so self, because it was really with a lot of women, they're super self conscious. It's not like they don't know what they want to do or want to try. It's they're so afraid of how a guy that they actually like is going to judge them. So, what I did was I would just gradually, I would just create this environment where it's just like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge you. I don't, whatever the fuck you want to do. And I really believe that. I mean, it's just like, I don't judge anybody. Whatever the fuck they want to do, if that's what you're into, go ahead and do it. As long as the other person is also into it, you know, that's fine. So you had to create this environment where they weren't afraid to say what they wanted to try, which I used to say you were drawing out their inner whore, <laughs> which is still judgmental. You really want What you're doing is you're freeing them up. Um you know, it's like free, get free, getting free is freeing up as a comedian. You know, you just sort of leave your act behind. You just, you know, you bomb a little bit, then you get relaxed, then you're fine. Trying to free yourself up on an instrument, I imagine it's the same way. There's no difference. Same thing in the bedroom. However, um, what the fuck is that noise? Is that my phone? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> anyways. All right, I got to get off the phone here. So um, there are certain people, they, they, they don't have, like, what you're, what you're looking for there. This person probably doesn't have it in them, so I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but, I mean, if you haven't done anything else, you kind of started way down the fucking road. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, just have them slap your ass a little bit. I mean, fucking baby steps. Go rent What About Bob. Learn about baby steps, and maybe you could gradually... You know, take this sweet, innocent person and turn him into a, a fucking deviant. I have no idea. I don't know what to tell you. Um, 
Uh, unfortunately, Nia is still sleeping downstairs, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's been my experience that, you know, I don't know. If someone's not into it, they're not into it. You just fucking leave it at that, right? Isn't that what it is? Jesus, this is awkward. All right, that's the podcast. <laughs> that's the podcast. Go Celtics. How about the fucking Predators? First ones to advance to the conference finals. Beating me, me in St. Louis, Louis. Blues go home cupless once again. Once again, 50 fucking years, no cup. Um, the Edmonton Oilers coming back after that brutal fucking loss in overtime. Um, Jesus, is it going to be Edmonton and the Predators? Is it going to be the Ducks? Oh, God, I don't know. I just never been, I just could never get over, I've never forgiven them for being owned by Disney and named after a kid's movie. The Mighty Ducks. You know, maybe if they still had the fucking intestinal fortitude, as they always used to say in wrestling, to still call themselves the Mighty Ducks. The fact that they got a, they got rid of the Mighty, you know. It's like they're trying to run from their history. It's like KFC. You're Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, stop trying to fucking lighten it up. Um, wait a minute. Who the fuck is left? Yeah, I still think the Penguins are going to do it. You know, Crosby's come back. Seems to be all right. I think the Pens got it. Um, and I can say that having watched 10 games this year. All right, go fuck yourselves. I'll check in on you on, uh, on Thursday. All right.